Hello and welcome back to another video. If you want to know how to catch shiny Pokemon like this, this, or even this, then you found the right video because I'm going to teach you how to shiny hunt Pokemon using the radar method in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Right, so in order to do this method, you're going to need a few items, one of which is the National Dex, and you can get this by seeing every single Pokemon in the Sinnoh Pokedex. Um, it's not that difficult to see every Pokemon in the Sinnoh Dex. All you have to do is battle at least every trainer, I think it is, or, or most of the trainers. Um, the only real hard one to see is Drifloon, um, because not many trainers have it. I think only like one trainer has it. And um, that is in Fantina's gym. But if not, just change your time to Friday and uh, catch it um, at the Valley Windworks. But anyway, um, enough rambling. Let's get back into this shiny hunting video. So once you have spoken to Owen after completing the Sinai Pokédex, he'll of course give you the National Dex. And I think he gives you the Pokey Radar, which is also another item which is needed for this method. Um, so once you've got that, you're pretty much set to go. I mean, there is one other item, which is the counter app for your Poketch. And you can get that, which is just appeared in the top corner. You can get that by going to Ramanas Park, which is just south of San Gem Town. Over here, just follow the water route round. And um, yes, you go there, speak to Professor Oak, and he'll give you the... Um, Pokey counter, I think that's what it's called, but um, yeah, you need that to um, complete this method. Or, well, it's not necessary, but it does help after using it. Right, so once you've got those items, you will need to get the following from the Pokemart at the Pokemon League. I think it's only the Repeat Ball, which is available at this um, shop. I'm not sure if it's available at others, it might be, but yeah, you're going to need a few Repeat Balls. As you can see, I've got 50 there in the bottom corner. Um, you're going to need quite a few of these because the chain will be going up to at least 40. That's the maximum number for a 1 in 99 chance. I'll show you the proper stats in a bit. But um, yeah, you're going to need repeat balls and, of course, for when you're running around the grass, super repels. Um, I recommend super repels because they're the most cost effective. And I think they're, they're just as good as max repels, really. I think max repels only last a little bit longer. Right, so before we get into the exciting part of the video, we've got to go through the boring bit, which is all the odds and that. So the odds of catching a shiny Pokemon using this method are up now. So as you can see, when it's um, a chain of 40, you have a 1 in 99 chance of catching a shiny Pokemon, which is actually really good, and you'll find it in no time. And of course, there's the bad part of this method, which is the chance of your chain failing and that's awful, and it's an 83% chance if you're just knocking the Pokemon out, and a 93% chance when you're catching a Pokemon. That's why you need to catch them instead of knocking them out, because your chain has that um, extra chance of continuing instead of breaking, so just keep that in mind. Um, yes, yeah, so that's the boring bit out of the way, now into the exciting bit. Right, so once you've got those items, you are ready to complete the method. So to do that, you will need to find a patch of grass, or before you find a patch of grass, choose a Pokemon that you want to um, chain for, because you don't want to be chaining for something you don't want. Um, so for the, the purposes of this tutorial, I don't know, it'll be a Starly or a Bidoof, whatever I can find. But you're going to need to find a wide patch of grass, just like this one here. It's easier in a wide patch of grass, because then you have more... Um, space to play. Um, so once you've found your grass you're going to need to use a super repel obviously that should be self-explanatory. Run into the grass, activate your um, radar which you can register um, from the bag. And once you've done that you're going to need to find a patch which is at least four spaces away. So a perfect example of this is the one in the top right corner there. So we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So the perfect amount. Uh, always go for one which is furthest away. I've had the most luck doing that, but um, yeah, whatever floats your boat really. Just try and go for the one that's furthest away. If there isn't that, that far away, you can just reset the radar by running around and then activating it again. So just throw a repeat ball at it. And you're going to have to keep doing this over and over until you've reached a chain of 40, 20, whatever. I mean, the odds are okay at 20, but you want to get 40 because it's a 1 in 99 chance. And you can probably catch multiple if you kept the chain going. Right, so that's done. Another thing to mention is sometimes only three patches will shake. 
never go into a, a patch if there's only three shaking because that means your chain will likely break. Um, so just keep running around like this, activate your radar again, there we go, and um, find the furthest patch away. That's four away, so we'll go for this one. I mean, it's not the furthest away, but it don't have to be the furthest, it just increases your chances if it is, I think, but it doesn't really make a difference. Right, so if you keep at this method and keep going into the grass, um, you'll eventually build to a chain of 40, as you can see in the top right corner now, I've got a chain of two. Um, so you'll have to try and get that to 40 or whatever you want because it does get quite nerve wracking towards the end. If your chain breaks on like the 39th encounter then oh, that would be awful. Um, so yeah, just you've got to keep like encountering, going into the patches, chaining the Pokemon up to around 40. So yeah, that's pretty much it and your chain will break because it has happened to me many times. It's heartbreaking but you know, you just got to go with it and if it does break, just restart the game so then your items and Pokeballs are saved and keep going again. You never know, you might get lucky. You might even like chain one, like I could just run around now. Oh, did I put a rappel on? What I was saying was you could just keep running around like this, reset, oh, reset the um, radar and um, you could find a sparky patch of grass. Also, a thing to add, once you've got to a chain of 40, don't bother encountering anymore. Just keep running around and resetting your radar because you don't want to accidentally break your chain when the chances aren't even going to increase. Like, it'd just be a waste of time. Um, but yeah, just keep running around doing what I'm doing and um, activating your radar and eventually you will find a shining patch and it won't take too long. I mean, it only took me about 10 minutes. I mean, the ones I've got, like you saw at the beginning of this video, they didn't even take that long. So it's quite an easy method. It's just, um, it can get a bit repetitive, but um, if you keep at it, keep chaining, you'll definitely get one. Just make sure to stay motivated, maybe put something on in the background while you're doing it, like to take your mind off it, because it can get a bit um, boring sometimes. But um, yeah, I always find it really exciting when you finally get one. And I think the longer the chain, the um, more happy you'll be when you finally get the shiny Pokemon. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If there's any questions you have, leave it in the comments. I'll be sure to answer to the best of my ability because I'm not an expert. But um, yeah, hopefully this really helped you out. And um, of course, thank you for watching and keep hunting and you'll definitely get one just like I have.